everyone, I'm Sarah Jane, CMC's newest intern, and today we're going to be talking about how to read a typographic map. Typographic maps can seem really scary at first. They're huge, the text is small, and there are a ton of symbols that you may not know what they mean. But today we're going to learn that reading a typographic map isn't as hard as it seems. But first off, why do we need a typographic map? We have cell phones and those maps are better than a paper map, right? Well, in the backcountry, your phone isn't always going to have connection. This means that having a paper map is the ultimate need for the backcountry. First, let's look at the legend of the map. The legend is helpful because it will tell you everything you need to know about what the symbols and lines mean on the map. For example, the question mark symbol on the map is a visitor center. Now that we've looked at our legend, let's see how it looks on our actual map. According to our legend, the bright red represents primary highways, as you can see here by Route 36. Here, the National Park borders are marked by this purple line according to the map's legend. It goes all the way down, telling you the borders of the National Park. Next, let's look at some trails and how they look on the map. First of all, we're going to look at Long's Peak Trail, a popular climbing and 14er for Colorado. First, it starts in the Long's Peak parking lot, and then the little green dotted lines represent the actual trail. But what do those little numbers mean? Those numbers represent the distance it takes to get from one red dot to the next. For that first section, it's 0.5 miles. Another interesting thing that is displayed on this trail is campsites. For example, Goblins Forest and Battle Mountain, according to our legends, shows that those are two camping spots along the trail. Further down the trail, there is also camping at the boulder field, as well as a bathroom, according to our legends. And finally, we reach Long's Peak, 14,259 feet. Finally, let's look at the contour lines of the map and how to read those. The small little lines represent contour lines, and they go up by 250 on this map every fifth line. For example, the closer the lines are together, the steeper a ridge will be, while the further apart, the flatter it will be. This shows you the elevation of everything and how much it's going to go up by each line. I hope you enjoyed learning how to read a typographic map and feel a little bit more confident about how to read it. For more videos like this, check out CMC's YouTube channel.